Hey, welcome to another video tutorial from WordPress Page Builders Academy. Today, we'll be going over how to create mega menus in Elementor. Mega menus display all your menu options at once, uh, helping your visitors easily find what they need without having to hover through the different hierarchies within the menu. Um, so let's get started with creating a basic mega menu in Elementor. So start by making a template for our mega menu. So go to template and click on theme builder and choose add new template. Give it a name and then click create template. You can select a header or make one yourself. Um, I choose a header template from the options available in the library. First, let's add a menu to our header. Um, find a menu option, then move it to the top part of the page. Remove the WordPress menu. The menu has three main items. Uh, replace items one through three with new ones. Uh, go to the content tab, choose item number one. In the title box, enter home. Next, connect the menu item to the home page. Instead of entering the home page's URL directly, it's better to use a dynamic link. Click the dynamic tag icon for the dynamic, uh, for the dynamic link to choose site, then internal URL. Uh, click on the internal link in the type dropdown, choose content. In the search and select section, type the name of the page you want to find. Repeat the process for remain items in the menu. To use the mega menu feature, turn the drop down content switch. You will be, uh, then be able to add various types of content to your menu items. Each item will have an arrow icon next to it by default. Um, select blogs or features from the mega menu. The arrow besides the item will point downwards and a content area will appear uh, below the menu. Now you have a space or container where you can create and customize what will be displayed when the item is clicked. Uh, you can create whatever kind of design you want, obviously. Um, if you're unsure, you can start by making a section with two or three columns. Um, here we even made a basic two column design to give you an idea. Uh, you're welcome to use any Elementor widgets and add dynamic content if you want. For instance, you can use the post widget to automatically display your news blog posts in the mega menu. For the blog section, I'll include an icon list widget and a heading widget in this example. You can customize the appearance uh, by changing text, icons, fonts, and layout. You can also make a copy and design it uh, in the way that you like. Then for features, I'll, uh, I'll use an image, a heading, text widget, I will adjust its width, and a button widget. Now let's take a look at what it looks like. A mega menu makes it easy for your visitors to navigate your website, especially if you have a lot of content or categories. Uh, Elementor's uh, user-friendly interface lets you create your own customized mega menu with visual drag and drop approach. Uh, you can easily customize the uh, design, style, and uh, layout of your mega menu widget using its uh, additional settings right there. Um, that's it. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up as it will really help this channel grow so we can produce more tutorials for you. And don't forget to share and subscribe to this channel if you find it helpful. Until next time, bye.